This is just opening the lid on understanding the importance of regulation of blood pressure through this gene product. Dr. Ross Feldman says the gene for the faulty estrogen receptor is found in 20% of the overall population, but only the female carriers exhibit elevated blood pressure, not the men. But what we know is that high blood pressure becomes much more common uh, post after menopause for women. So that if, if this gene product was going to be a significant actor in terms of the develop, full-blown development of high blood pressure, uh, it would probably be much more important later on in life, postmenopause. The study found that twice as many women with high blood pressure, 31 percent, had the gene variant compared to just 16 percent of men with the condition. And one third of women with high blood pressure had the variant compared to only 23 percent of healthy females. High blood pressure is the single biggest risk factor for stroke and a major factor in developing heart disease. Patients like Denise McIntyre know exercising and reducing salt intake are important, but she says information like this can be valuable for those at highest risk. You know, I'm very driven. I do own my own business, and so I need to be aware of those times where I need to have time out and vacation and decompress. And we've known for years that women tend to develop risk factors for coronary heart disease, including high blood pressure, later than men. They tend to develop it seven to ten years after the menopause. So whether that's a genetic interaction with hormones or whether women are just biologically different than men, it's hard to tell. The hope is that this study will help physicians to take the already good treatments available today and fine-tune them so they will be even better in the near future, especially for women. And Dr. Feldman's study appears in the online edition of the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.